I need you to explain to me how podcasts work. It goes right in your ears. Oh. Just right directly into your ears with like mm. a big fucking fire hose. Hello, I'm Henrik Blix. And yes. I'm, and I'm Case Honor Wilson. We're both writers on the show. Oh, what show? I love that show. And Is we're, it Ted Lasso? <laughs> we're both writers for Ted Lasso, but we're just we're just here hanging out. We're doing, doing Apple TV cross promotion. Yeah, today. I had the idea to make characters hug. Let me ask you a question. Why are we here? Okay, so in our first episode, mm-hmm. the writers were tasked with writing a joke about how John looks, and like like Jason Momoa. Is that right. so? The, the the idea is we write a joke about how handsome John is. Is that the was that the assignment? That right. didn't make it. Oh, that's interesting. How we did that? We did that in our own time. I see. I see. But this was this was on the clock. What what was the uh, assignment, if I may. If I... So uh, it, it was basically just to. Uh, no, no, no. Off, you can look off the paper. You look at me. It was, <laughs> tell me, tell me what the assignment was. It was a bit. <laughs> <laughs> we okay. had an intro. We were introing the top uh-huh. of the show. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You had been gone for some time. You had been gone for if some did, time. If you didn't know this, uh, from and not, television. And not everybody's yeah. not everybody's seen your face in a little while. Uh huh. And what about my face? <laughs> And there was just there was just a thought that we should clarify for the audience. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But a little bit of time's passed. <laughs> I believe the line was, "This is how I look now." <laughs> <laughs> there was there was a John Stewart of before, and we need to bring the audience up to speed. That can, you're getting a new stew. Can I tell you why though? We we a made you guys stew? do that because <laughs> on my first day when we were in the studio and we were looking and I had you know. When you're not on television, you just mm-hmm. you're just existing, mm-hmm. and I hadn't seen myself framed in that way before. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> and I looked into the monitor, and I immediately went, "We have to address this. <laughs> Can we get the guys to write just a shitload of jokes about how fucking old I look now?" Well, the fruit of that, you sort of were like, "Hey, I'd like pancakes," and we were like, "How about we waterboard you with batter?" <laughs> we. <laughs> We were we were given two fish and five loaves of bread, yeah. and we went way overboard. <laughs> we kept writing this. We we kept writing more in well after Chelsea told mm-hmm. us we had enough. We have over well over two hundred. Yeah, <laughs> we still write them. This is the zip zap zop of the writers' room. This is our this is our vocal warm. It's our vocal. These warm-up. are our scales. So this is going to be one uh, one fun last thing for Kay and I before we're fired. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, what do I look like? I look like the Dosecki's guy on dialysis. <laughs> I look like the last guy who smoked indoors in New York City. Can I tell you something? I was the last guy who smoked indoors in New York City. Yeah, I quit when they said you can't smoke indoors anymore. We used to go to this bar, the Corner Bistro, my wife and I, back when mm-hmm. we both ate meat and smoked. And we'd just sit in this <laughs> tiny place and eat meat and smoke. Uh-huh. It was The idea was to get as many carcinogens as you possibly could right. in the them. hopes that the cancer would get confused. Like, what's this guy doing? <laughs> we I'm have fucking, too many to choose from. <laughs> oh, what? If he walks out and gets UV ray, I, you know what? Everybody out. It's, it must be a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> I look like I live in a lighthouse. <laughs> yeah, those guys are not young. Generally, young people don't live in a lighthouse. It's not a young man's game anymore. <laughs> it's not, no, it's really not. Uh, you know what I look like? Dave Chappelle's lawyer. That's that's more of a Jew joke than an old joke, no? Very difficult, by the way, sometimes, to draw that line between the Jew mm. and the old joke. You know, they sometimes they'll bleed together. Mm. And, and I think that's a prime example. Perfect. I live in a lighthouse. Oh, that's just pure. That's right. just that's just pure old grizzled man. That's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's, that's clear. The effects of the sea. Yeah. Over time. <laughs> I look like a retired California raisin. That's rough. Mm-hmm. I look like an old grandfather clock come to life. The come to life joke is always going to be. We got four more of them. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't put all the come to life's together. Kind of that would have been smart to all kind right. of categorize these. You know what I look like? A Werther's original. <laughs> no, uh, a note here. No, is not, that one that's not been come un- to life? <laughs> <laughs> Still inanimate. <laughs> is that uh, uh, un- unwrapped and sucked on or pre-sucked on? Pre-sucked on. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, that you we'll know. Give what? you that. Then Still, I actually don't feel that bad about. Still classic. That. And a Werther's original. A smooth, classy treat. Oh, I like this. 
You know, they look like a saltwater taffy salesman. It's like, that's like saying, like, uh, you know what I look like? The guy who tries to sell you Victrolas on the boardwalk <laughs> mm-hmm. in Atlantic City. I, I like this one. I like this one. Uh, you know what I look like? I look like I was in the writer's room for the Old Testament. Because I also feel like you got to give it a little bit of that. A little bit of the Borscht Belt. Because I could do it, you know, I was in the writer's room for the Old Testament. Mm. I was in the writer's room for the Old Testament. That's the part. Because... Writer's room, you people look young and refreshed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Henrik and Kason both look uh, ambulatory. Like if you needed to get up and get something, you could do it. Thank you. Thank you for saying Without that. just Appreciate pressing it. on an intercom button and saying, wow. uh, Jillian? Is it soup time? Is it soup here? <laughs> I look like, can I tell you something? That's a good one. I look like I always pick my head up for no reason and say, is it soup time? <laughs> can we cut that and save that for episode that's, two, please? Thank you. <laughs> That's a good one. I look like the Holland Tunnel troll. I don't think that's an old joke. That's just an ugly joke. That's just that's just hurtful. I think we're just casting the whiz for I-95. I look like Waldorf at Statler's funeral. Do you think Waldorf would heckle at Statler's funeral? You have to think he would. You'd have to think. It's he'd. what it's what he'd want. You know what? Do you guys want to read me a couple? Sure. sure. Yeah, All you right, got yeah. uh you got a couple of heaters? I'm going right, to throw, throw me a couple of heaters that you like. Yeah. John, you look like what Gene Hackman's voice would look like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh John looks like Bon Jovi's dad. <laughs> That's, I got to say, that's a good one. And he and I are the same age. <laughs> wow. We are literally the same age. I'm pretty sure that's right. We are, we are the same age. Let's give him a call. Clearly, we use different creams. <laughs> He's older than me. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> Google it in this moment. Uh, How's he looking? Come on. No, he looks pretty good. He looks great. He looks pretty good. He looks yeah. great. And I'm not just saying that because I'm his father. Right. <laughs> not just because you're proud of him. I'm Obviously, I'm proud of him. You look like Benjamin Button at the beginning of the movie. <laughs> That's a classic. I look like I should be on TV using all the gravitas I've built up over my life to sell you health insurance. Yeah. <laughs> so funny you say that, John, because you also look like the cover model of Gout Weekly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do, in my defense, uh-huh. I've never had gout, Okay, but I'm this close on rickets. You look like a Fig Newton fanatic. You look like you're obsessed with killing a whale. I look like a Keebler elf exposed to radiation. You look like a Dead Sea Scroll. You look like you wrote the Rosetta Stone. I look like a sleeve of dry rye crisps. You look like if Miller High Life was a person. You look like the sound of a house settling. I look like a Centrum Silver spokesperson. You look like you put a bid on Larry King's suspender collection. <laughs> you look like someone buried Sam Elliott in a pet cemetery. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. Come That's, back. Come I'm, back next week. I'm not. I'm not coming back from that. I'm never coming back from that. Join us next week on the pod where we give John a swirly for 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>